hello guys in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop so guys if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video so without any further ado let's get into adobe photoshop so these are the resources i'm going to use in this tutorial so this is a5 paper size and the resolution is 300 so the first thing now we are going to import this texture then increase the size and we are going to apply blur then go to your blur and select gaussian blur then make it 23.5 percent something like this all right then we are going to create a gradient too then go to your gradient fill and over here i have it already which is this then and the code is here over here so this is the gradient fill and the position of this one is 50 percent with the same s code then i'm going to click on it to apply all right so after we apply this one then the second things we are going to do now we are going to create a layer then create a new layer at the top here over here we are going to copy this color code from here ctrl plus c to copy then come over here to paste ctrl plus v to paste now we have to select our brush and using the bracket key to increase the size of the brush something like this now we are going to click around here to increase the light effect okay so having done that one so the next we are going to do then we are going to import this background here then take it to the top here yeah. you can scale it a little bit so after that then change the blood mode to overlay to overlay and it will give you something like this then apply your layer mask and select your brush over here then reduce the size and we are going to clean off this area so then the next one we are going to do now that we are going to apply a blur to blur the background a little bit then we are going to try 10.10 10 percent okay something like this is okay now then the next one we are going to bring these images so i have the images here I'm going to bring it drag it over here so in order to make the tutorial fast I have put some things in place so that it will not take much time all right guys so then having great this one the next one bring this dove here then take it up over here now we are going to change the bloody mode to screen and we are going to blow it by 13 percent then 13.9 percent something like this so okay all right then we are going to at the top here we have to create another fill column then go to your gradient fill column and we are going to select the second one over here then click ok so you can see the differences when you turn off the light and you turn it off and on so you can see the differences there all right so now select your layer mask over here then select your gradient to make sure that this place is black and white then we are going to delete this one then change this one to white or you can still use the black color over there and apply your gradients over here 
okay so having done that one so the next we are going to do now then we are going to bring others design so the next one we are going to create a cycle first so we are going to select this one select your ellipse tool and hold your shift key while you draw a perfect cycle then position it somewhere around here it's okay and we are going to duplicate this one drag it over here to this layer to duplicate it and this one we are going to change the background color to white and then use your arrow key to bring it down this way it's all right we are going to select the two cycle then use your arrow key then to bring it down now go to this image and we are going to import this particle over here and increase the size then raise it up like this then change the bloody mode to screen and go back to your filter then select blur and gaussian blur now we are going to blur it by 24 percent then apply your layer mask select your brush and clean off this area okay so having done that one then you will see the effect around the image over there okay then the next one then we are going to bring our test over here so we are going to select from here from the bottom over here then and down to this location so that is the one we are going to select now and i hold your shift key while you select it now we have to drag it down here so this is it now then we need to adjust it some something like this then you can increase the size all right so the next one we are going to do then go back to this place and we are going to select the heading then drag it over here and then you drop it now we need to adjust it bring it down like this is okay then the last thing is the names so we are going to bring in the name and drop it over here so something like this all right so then this is our the tutorial has been great all you can see here so the font we use here these are the font here and the color code we use these are the color code so this is the ellipse color the second gradient fill, fill and the layer color and this is the first gradient fill color so all of them are made available here so in order to make the tutorial so fast so that will not waste too much of time okay guys thank you so much then this is how we create the tutorial on this now on this effect here then you can go back to your question below then to adjust this one over here so that the dove can be seen a little bit something like this then if you also like then you can also select the second gradient field over here then and select your brush turn your color to white and you can erase this particular area so you can erase it erase it 
okay so then you will now have something like this so guys this is the end of this tutorial thank you so much for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe then and share if you need any of my flyer please you can go to my fiverr account the link is in the descriptions you can make your order through the fiverr account and if you want to optimize your video you can also use the link of tubebody in the descriptions to create your account and optimize your channel thank you so much for following i really appreciate you guys see you next week